Come go down some, yeah. Oh, you want to come in my pants? Now all the girls want to go. Here we are in one of the sweetest anchorages in Cape Verde, and for once it's crowded. This is the captain's fleet, and here comes the captain and crew back from town. They're stopping by yet another boat, Frenchman Luke and his friend Nina who decided to stay a few days also. We met up with Luke and Nina and they were quickly invited for a grog and an introduction to local life on a Sunday afternoon. It was carnival, so some took to the occasion seriously. And when there's grog, there's also snacks. I gave them tiny crabs a try. I mean, if the kids like it, they must be good. We were led up to the family home. Virginia was expecting us and they had made a special Sunday meal they wanted to share. As well, Virginia was proud of the latest addition to the family and insisted we visit the Proud Mound. Virginia, Mirko, Capiccia, Mia, and all the rest were some of the most warmest and kindest people I've ever met. The further away from tourists we are, the closer in we seem to be to Cape Verde life. We wanted to be even closer yet, so we decided to anchor in a bay in front of the village. And we became the star attraction. Mirko stopped by for coffee. And a bunch of curious kids swam to the boat. And we couldn't just let them float about, so of course they were welcome aboard. We had some repairs to do on Gallopan. The roof dodger window finally gave in, so Nat stitched a temporary solution as well, my stern light broke off. An easy fix, I thought. Worn and crumbling, the wire broke inside the stanchion. Capiccia and the kids tried to help, but I'll have to deal with that later. It was hard to concentrate with all my guests, and the light was not an absolute essential to navigating at the moment. Some of the kids enjoyed the music in the salon and some were happy to give Galapan a rinse. Then more folks came by. We tried to get some work done but had a party instead. It was a calm anchorage apart from the wind during the day but it would calm at sunset. And that's when Nat had invited some new friends of hers. We had had the men and kids aboard. Now it was the girls' turn. We turned on the music, then the camera, and then just beautiful things happened. After a couple of hours, we all went to town and got back early. We had plans for the morning. 
We had to tear ourselves away from Ribeira de Barca, and it hurt a bit. We'd left friends behind, but we are travelers. The journey must continue. So we headed down the coast on an easy carrying wind. I just let out the Genoa. The wind would be at our backs mostly. I had devised a temporary solution to my engine problem. The cutoff switch, which did not cut off Simon, the engine. The solution was a very simple one, really. I devised a clever tool to help put Simone to sleep. As we followed the coast, the wind grew as the landscape flattened. The swell began to grow also. This is coastal sailing, and in my opinion, much trickier than open ocean blue water sailing. But I'm somewhat accustomed to this kind of sailing. Having practiced many years on Lake Leman, one of Europe's biggest lakes, you get similar wind and wave effects, just on a different scale. Things can change at any moment depending on the coast and landscape, wind currents, thermal changes. You can go from force 2 to force 8 in minutes. And you do. Further along, it's total calm. No wind, no waves. Just the purr of my ailing engine. And then we were visited by a sailor's favorite friends. Then another friend of Cape Verde greeted us again, the wind. It was screaming for attention and did not get ignored. We're hardly moving against it. I was
was nervously hoping that once close to the coast, we could anchor safely. Here we are in Cidade Velha. This cool little bay here, uh, out of the wind. Checked out the uh, bottom and it's nice black sand, you can see. I think we're gonna chill out here a couple days. There's music playing and uh, so there. Back in Ribeira de Barca, Mirko has shown me where to anchor here. Glad to have taken his advice. We are in Cidade Velha, one of Cape Verde's most notable historic sites. And fishermen come to visit here too, and offer the day's catch. As well, we are a 10 minute cab ride from Praia, the capital, where my friend Janice lives. I invited her for a visit and a swim. Poor girl gets seasick, so I brought her back to shore so she could feel better. This is a great spot, and I think we will stay here a bit and see what we can discover. Yeah, <laughs> 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 